This video will review copying and pasting between two or more instances of Song Surgeon. Copying and pasting between two or more instances is similar to what we have already discussed in the training video on single instances. And if you have not watched that video, I suggest you close or stop this video and watch that one first before resuming this video. When we are dealing with two or more instances, a couple of new situations arise which we didn't deal with in the other video. Namely, you can now copy and paste from a mono file to a stereo file and from a stereo file to a mono file. We are going to review both of those and let's start by selecting some data from a mono file, which I have here open on the screen. So I'm going to grab a piece of this data, edit, copy. Let's go to the first instance of Song Surgeon and edit paste. Now, here's one of the first things that you're going to see that's different. If you read this, it says it can't perform the paste operation because the sample rate of the destination file, which is 441, meaning the file we have open, does not match the sample rate of the source file, which is 11,025 hertz. It says, would you like to use a copy of the source file with the sample rate automatically converted to match the destination file? So essentially, Song Surgeon not only warns you that there's a mismatch here in frequencies, but it will automatically convert the file for you. So all we need to do is select yes, and when we do that, it automatically converts that source file in the background, and then it opens this dialog that you've seen before if you watched the first video that I mentioned on copying and pasting between single instances. So we have a mono file copied to our clipboard and we're copying it to this destination file which is a stereo file. So we now have the ability to copy that data and place it in the left channel, the right channel, or both channels and beginning, current, or end. So as previously with regard to single instances, if you select both, you'll copy and paste this into both channels simultaneously and the synchronization will be maintained. However, if you select either left or right, this issue of synchronicity is going to creep back up and you have to deal with it. And again, just briefly, because we did deal with this in the other video, if you want to maintain the synchronicity between these two channels in this destination file, if you leave this box selected, Song Surgeon will insert silence in the channel where you're not copying the data to maintain the synchronicity. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, we copy that little chunk of data from this mono file here into this stereo file and where that was copied, we inserted silence. And that means that this area here is all synchronized still, as well as this area back here. The second example would be where we take data from a stereo file and I'm going to copy a chunk of it from this stereo file that's open on my machine. Control C which is a keyboard shortcut and then let's um, go to the mono file and here you can see we have a mono file open and now I'm going to paste the stereo data which I've copied into this mono file and it will paste the data in at the insertion point here or if I tell it to do otherwise, we have some other options and we'll look at those. So edit, paste. Now, let me open this window and let's look at this again. Similar to the other insertion window we saw, but it's a little different here. Remember, we have stereo data copied to our clipboard. So it's asking us if we want to insert into this mono file, whether we want to insert the left channel of the stereo data, the right channel of the stereo data, or both channels. And obviously if we select both channels of the stereo data, that means that that stereo data, this data here, will actually be mixed down so there's a single mono file. If we select left channel or right channel, it will place either the left or the right channel into this mono file here that we're pasting into. So that's what these options mean and that's how you need to interpret them. And like the other uh, dialog that we looked at when we were copying mono to stereo, you also have the options to insert it at the current position, which would be where the 
progress indicator is this white line or the beginning or the end of the file. So let's go ahead and select both, which means it's going to mix down the stereo file and insert it beginning right here. And it indeed has inserted the data into this file. We can just undo this to double check. You can see we've got just under three minutes here. We insert the data, pushes us up to almost four minutes. So we've copied and pasted into this file about a minute's worth of data, which should be about what we selected here. And yeah, that's about what it is. So those are the two options that you have when you're talking about multiple instances. Now, I have two instances open, whether we have two, four, or ten, it really doesn't matter. You copy and paste between instances, and you can copy from mono to stereo, from stereo to mono. You just have a lot of different options here, and you need to keep these straight. Um, they're not meant to confuse you, but they do provide tremendous flexibility, and that's why we've included all these options for you to choose from. So that will conclude this video tutorial on copying and pasting between two or more instances.
would sound like two different songs playing at the same time because that's essentially what you're doing. 